growing. Today, we're going to be planting some marigolds. But this isn't any ordinary video, because my sister's here from the, from all the way from South Carolina. Call it break. Introducing Okay, so Nicole, we're gonna be planting some marigolds today. Yay! Now we need some uh, potting mix inside here, which we already did. And next we need to gently pat the soil down, but we're not doing this ordinary. We, we're doing this with a special trick. So the super secret trick is to compact and measure how far we can put the seeds. Nicole, put your hands out. We got an ice cube tray. That can help us measure. Right now, Nicole's leaving imprints on the soil to help us compact and to help us know where to put the seeds. And how far apart are we going to be putting the seeds in, Nathan? Two, two to three inches. Nicole, want to hear a joke? Yes, I would love to. What did Mother Tomato say to Baby Tomato when she was falling behind? I don't know. What did she say? Ketchup! Whoa! So, Nathan, how long ago did you start your garden? Just this year. Really? And have you learned a lot? Yeah, we started it like winter. And what is your favorite thing that you've grown so far? My first thing that I've grown, basil. And for people who are beginners and just learning now how to garden, what would you recommend they start to plant first? Lettuce. Ooh. Can you also plant other vegetables and fruits? Yeah. What kind of fruit would you love to plant next? Cantaloupe. Ooh, that sounds good. Can you eat the things that you plant? Most things. Sometimes we plant flowers. So, what do you notice is different about the plants that you grow yourself versus the ones that you get at the store, like the lettuce you make? They're way better. Way better how? Do they taste better? Yeah, they taste better. That's awesome. What's the ones at the store are like, nah. Nah? Well, the ones that you grow, good. That's awesome. What's your favorite that you've ever planted? Watermelon, but that really might not count because it it just, it died. But other than watermelon, it would be tomato. And even though your watermelon died, does that mean you're gonna give up making it forever? Or would you ever think about trying it again? I would think about trying it again. All right. Nathan, what's the next step? So we're gonna top it off with top loose soil and make sure to break l large clumps of soil so your plants can grow happily, af happily out of the soil. Looks good. So right now I'm lightly swiping the soil on top of the holes. So what's the next step, Nathan? Don't forget to get all the clumps out before you start watering. Hey, Nicole, wanna hear a joke? Sure. I took the shell off my wasting snail to make him faster. 
but now he's more sluggish. Check out the air. Don't they look big and healthy? Don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to smash that notifications button. Alright. I'll see you around Facebook. Bye. Catch you later. Catch you later.